Hey guys, today we're going to look at an introduction to stoichiometry. So you're going to watch the next video strictly as homework because I want you to come into class with a handy, useful thing that you're going to use for these types of problems because they can get really tricky. But this video is just to introduce us to what stoichiometry is and why we use it. So stoichiometry is a study of numerical relationships between the amounts of reactants used and the amounts of products formed by a chemical reaction. Now that's super science lingo. So essentially this is just a recipe. The chemical reaction is the recipe we're going to follow. And maybe we only have a little bit of stuff in our cupboard or in our chemical cupboards in order to make this recipe. So it tells us with how much we start with, what are we going to get as an end product? So essentially, if I need four eggs to make a whole batch of cupcakes, but I only have two eggs, instead of 24 cupcakes, I'm only going to be making 12. So that's kind of a normal person definition of what stoichiometry is. It is a recipe to determine what the outcome is going to be based on the stuff that we start with. So stoichiometry is based on the law of conservation of mass. The idea that the mass that we begin with has to be the same mass that we end with. We can't create or destroy anything, but we can change the chemical compounds that are present in that reaction. So the mass of the stuff before the arrow has to equal the mass of the stuff after the arrow. And if we start with a certain mass before the arrow, we have to end with a certain mass after the arrow. So stoichiometry problems consist of predicting the amount of grams of product that will form from a reaction if we know how many grams of reactant we have, or we will be predicting the number of grams of reactant that will be needed to produce a certain amount of product. So again, it's like a recipe. If I only have two eggs, how many cupcakes can I make? Or if I need 48 cupcakes, how many eggs should I start with? So that's the whole idea, but we're going to be using chemical formulas instead of real life food things. Here's a real life example, not in the form of cupcakes, but I do like me some cupcakes. Let's consider a ham sandwich. So we have this chemical reaction down at the bottom. We have one ham plus two bread, so one H plus two Bs, plus one lettuce or one L creates one ham two pieces of bread, and one piece of lettuce sandwich. So we need one piece of ham and one piece of lettuce, and we need two pieces of bread to create this balanced reaction. So here's our example of what we're going to use for our ham sandwich. And a stoichiometry problem starts exactly like this. It limits one of the items in the chemical formula. So if you have four slices of ham, an unlimited lettuce, and unlimited bread, how many ham sandwiches could you make? So I rewrote the chemical formula on this slide so we can reference it again. And we're going to go back and actually adjust our recipe based on the items in our pantry or our fridge. This is essentially a stoichiometry problem. So up here it says I have four slices of ham. So instead of writing a 1 in front of the H in the chemical formula, I'm going to write a 4. So four slices of ham, and instead of two pieces of bread for one sandwich, if I have four slices of ham, I need eight pieces of bread. We're just going to multiply those. And instead of one piece of lettuce, I need four pieces of lettuce. And this creates four ham sandwiches. So this is how we're going to start these problems. You're going to have a balanced chemical formula. I'm going to limit one of the items in that chemical formula, and the rest we're going to assume are unlimited. Now eventually, I am going to limit more things. This problem could have been changed, and I could have said, if you have four slices of ham, six pieces of bread, and unlimited lettuce, how many maximum sandwiches can you make? And you would go through the process of comparing the chemical formulas, adjusting them, and comparing them again. But for now, we're going to start just changing one thing, not changing multiple things. So how does this look using chemistry? All stoichiometric calculations begin with a balanced chemical equation. So this one has four irons, three oxygen molecules, and creates two iron oxide molecules. We then go through steps to calculate how much product can be made with certain amounts of reactants. So I might tell you we have six moles of iron and unlimited oxygen. 
how much of our ending are we going to make? You will make a foldable in the next video that helps us work through these steps. So as your introduction, stoichiometry is a really fancy way of saying we have a recipe and we're going to be adjusting that recipe to create a product and we will be calculating how much of that product we are going to be creating. So I will see you in class after you make your foldable so we can go through the steps of these. So I'm going to see you in class after we create your foldable and we're going to go through the steps of this process. So I'll see you then.